All right, good morning, guys. I got a new story for you. Now, you know I like Disney, so I had to put in a couple Disney stories in here. So here's one of them. So there's a book series called My Very First Winnie the Pooh, and they have uh, two books that have growing up stories. Now, this is set from the second book because I don't have the first one. But the story I wanted to start with, it's called Tigger's Moving Day, and it kind of applies to what we're going with because now we're doing all new things. So here we go. After breakfast, Tigger stood up and stretched. Time for my morning bounce, he cried. Spring, spring, spring. Look out, cried Rabbit. Thump. Tigger bumped into one of his cupboards and his toys came crashing down. Ooh, that happens every time, he said with a sigh. Look, he hit his head. Tigger, you don't have enough bouncing room in this little house, said Rabbit. Plunk. A toy truck teetered off the shelf and landed on Tigger's head. Ouch, he said. It's true, but what can I do? We've got to find you a bigger house, declared Rabbit. That's all there is to it. But, said Tigger, he looks a little unsure. No buts, said Rabbit. I'm going to organize the others right away. Don't worry, we're going to find you a new home. By the end of the day, everyone is excited about the big new house they had found for Tigger. Ooh, looks like a tree house. This is a bouncy house, said Tigger, the kind of house Tiggers like best. He likes a lot of things best. He bounced and bounced and didn't bump into anything. But, he said, sighing, I'll miss my old house, and I won't live next door to little Rue anymore. I'll miss him too. Here he is with Rue. I know you'll miss being neighbors with Kenga and Rue, said Christopher Robin, but now you'll live much closer to me. We can have fun being neighbors, just like you and Rue did. Do you like to bounce? asked Tigger. Sometimes, said Christopher Robin. Besides, dear, said Kenga, I promise to bring, bring Rue over to visit, just as often as you like. They're trying to make him feel better. Well then, said Tigger, perking up a bit. I hope everyone can stay a while. We can play a game together and eat some cookies. Tigger opened his new pantry. No cookies. He opened his new closet. No games. Kinda empty, isn't it, said Eeyore. Yeah, agreed Tigger. Tiggers don't like empty houses. I like my old house better. Look, he's pouting. I've seen you guys do that. Rabbit put his paws on his hips and stared at Tigger. We aren't finished yet. We need to move all your things from your old house to this house, he said. Everything, asked Tigger. Every last little thing, said Rabbit. And that's a big job, so we'll start first thing tomorrow morning. And see some of the toys that Tigger left at his house. Rabbit told everyone to bring their wagons and all the boxes they could find to Tigger's house. Wow, boxes are fun, cried Rue. Look at me hiding. Tigger and Rue bounced in and out of boxes. Now there'll be time for fun later, grumbled Rabbit. Now we've got to pack Tigger's things. Tigger packed all of his games and the stuffed animals in a box. He took, his, he took his favorite lion out and hugged him. I want you to stay with me. Rabbit packed Tigger's dishes. Kanga packed Tigger's clothes. I'm thinking that's like hats and scarves or anything because he's a stuffed animal. Pooh and Piglet packed Tigger's food. Soon, Eeyore arrived with his donkey cart. We can use this to haul your bigger things, he said helpfully, furniture and whatnot. Christopher Robin and Owl hoisted Tigger's bed and tables and chairs into the cart. Yep, see they are helping. Owl and Gopher loaded the boxes into the wagon. Time to move it out, cried Rabbit. Everyone pulled and pulled. Now my new home will be perfect, cried Tigger, as they unloaded the cart and the wagons and carried everything inside. Thanks for your help, everyone, he cried. Moving was as easy as pie. But that's not quite the end of the story yet. After his friends is gone, Tigger put his toys on his new shelves. He pushed his bed under the back window just where he wanted it. He set his table and chairs in the middle of the big kitchen. He put his cereal and his extract of malt in his new pantry. I'm not sure what extract of malt is. 
When he was all finished, he sat down to rest. Hmm, seems like an awfully quiet house, he thought. He tried out a few bounces, but decided he wasn't in such a bouncy mood after all. I sure miss Rue, he said. Just then, Tigger heard a little cry. Hello! Rue cried Tigger. Kanga, come on in. It's usually what Tigger says, but Rue kind of thinks Tigger is a big brother. We brought you a bag of cookies, said Kanga. Oh, yummy, cried Tigger. Hello! Hello! Tigger soon heard all of his friends calling outside his new door. Everyone had brought housewarming presents for Tigger. I see box of chocolates, some pots of honey, a present. Ooh, even a blue balloon. Our work's all done, said Rabbit. Now it's time for fun. Hooray, cried Tigger as he bounced from room to room with Rue. There's plenty of room for fun and friends in my new house. Now I know this says next story. But I don't know if I'll read that one. I guess we'll have to keep watching to find out. See you next time.